Indinako was playing with his cousin. Then his cousin wanted to grab him as they were playing, and Indy tried running away from him. There was a chair next to Indy, and he fell over the chair and hurt his wrist as he landed. But then we saw he was hurting after a week, and we noticed that his wrist was not straight, and he could not bend it. So he had um, a fracture of the, of the wrist, the bones were displaced. And so the fracture united with the wrist in a deformed position. His function was going to be affected. You know, the use of his hand uh, was never going to be like uh, it's supposed to be. So they've been trying to find a solution to that. And uh, so the local hospitals told them that Q existed and that we could actually uh, help. It was quite obvious that we were going to have a scene with Andy Nako going into theatre. The grandmother, at that point, she was standing uh, alongside his bed and obviously she, you could see concern starting to settle in. I assured her that he was going to be okay. And, and the rest is history. The doc doctors took charge, you know, uh, did their operation. So when they went to the to the ward, what I did was I prayed with Aninako and I prayed with uh, the grandmother as well. You know, it, it was quite obvious that the grandmother trusted God. She she really had his faith. At some point, I started singing a song and she she joined me. I would read a verse and then she would affirm that. And when I prayed for for her, she was like, "Yeah, we, you know what? We need this prayer at this time." I would like to say. Thank you to all who have brought us to this point and for the way they have treated Indinaka. This kindness I applaud because I've never seen kindness like this. I am full of gratitude and I don't know just how to say thank you.